In this Figma tutorial, let's take a look at how to use the pin tool in Figma. The pin tool allows you to create vector shapes by adding and removing anchor points as well as anchor handles to create curves. So the pin tool shortcut key is P and you're going to see that icon up here. We can click on the pin tool and we can click out on our document anywhere to create an anchor point. And once we've created one anchor point, you can see that it created a new vector layer. And as we click to add more anchor points, we're basically creating the path for a shape. If we come back to the original anchor point, you'll see a little O on our pen tool cursor. That means we're closing out that shape. So we've created this little polygon here. Now in the upper left, we can hit done and we have this shape. We can add a stroke and a fill to the shape. So for instance, if we increase this stroke size, you can see the stroke out here. And also if we add a fill, we could add a fill color. So now we have this shape that has a fill. It's essentially a polygon and a stroke. You can edit the anchor points of this just by double clicking on the shape to go into this shape editing mode. We can click on the paths between anchor points to move those two anchor points. We can click and drag to select multiple anchor points and do the same thing to move those three. Now this is all with the selection tool, but we'll get into some more of the pin tool options. We can even add an anchor point in the center of two anchor points, which is actually a pin tool shortcut, but we don't actually need to select the pin tool. We just need to hover over this sort of phantom point right here click on it and now we've added that point and we can click and move it around. So any point here you can move around in this shape editing mode. Now let's switch to the pen tool. Remember P is the shortcut key. So we have the pen tool selected now and we have a few modifiers with it. One of them is holding option or alt to remove anchor points. So if I wanted to remove this one here, you'll see the minus icon with the pen tool while I'm holding option or alt and I can click on that anchor point to remove it. In the same way, I can also add anchor points. If I'm hovering over the line, I could add an anchor point right here. And I could go back to the selection tool, shortcut key is V, click on that anchor point and drag it around. So we can remove and add anchor points. We can also add handles. And we can create our shapes with handles too. So to add a handle, remember P for the pen tool, and then if I hold Option, or I'm sorry, if I hold Command or Control, if you're on PC, you'll see this little Handles icon attached to your cursor. When we click and drag, we can begin to pull handles out of any given point. These handles will influence the curvature of the line. You can see a shorter handle influences the curve less. A longer handle influences it more to the point that it over influences the curve. So we can create a curve out here, let go, and then we could shift to our selection tool, that's V as the shortcut key, click on this anchor point and kind of bring it up and move this around. And we can edit these handles too, just by clicking and dragging on them. If you hold Option or Alt while you do that, you can actually edit a single handle. So if you wanted it to curve into this point and then bounce upward a little, you can edit the handle like that. And if you hold shift while you're doing any of this, it'll lock things into 45 degree angles. So you can make sure it's perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical, just like that. Now, like I said, you can create a shape. If we get out of this shape mode by pressing done, we can create a shape with handles too. So if we press P for the pen tool, we can actually click and drag in the direction we want our line to go to start to create curvature. And you can see the preview of the line depending on where you're gonna click next. So if we click out here and click and drag again, you can see how we can create curves while we're using the pen tool. So if I hold it in this direction and kind of mimic that other handle on the original point, you can see we've created sort of a wave form and now you do not have to close this shape. I could go hit done or I could press V for the selection tool and then hit done. And I have a wavy line 
So the pen tool can be used not only to create full shapes, but also to create lines and lines with curves, just like this. And so the pen tool really can be used to create all sorts of vector assets and elements. And of course, you can't really see this very well, so we'll turn it white so you can see it. There you go. And that's just the stroke icon over here. But the pen tool can be used to create not only shapes, but also just any sort of vector elements and lines. And it can be helpful when you're out here trying to create different assets or if you're creating icons here in Figma just to be able to build out your different shapes and build out your different elements. This is some basics of how to use the pen tool. And if you're familiar with the pen tool from other programs, it works very, very similarly to other vector programs like Illustrator or Inkscape or even Photoshop. The pen tool works very similar as it does here in Figma.